Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. Uh, this particular doll, I do not have a name for her. And I'm hoping somebody out there will be able to help me out um, with identifying her. Um, I purchased her in uh, the uh, antique store. And when I got her, she was uh, by herself in a plastic, just a plastic bag. And I'm not too sure why they would have sold her there other than the fact that um, she is kind of unusual. Um, she's kind of like just a dime store doll, but the unusual things about her are um, her wigs. And uh, this is why I bought her because um, she does resemble a lot of the dolls, um, earlier dolls and dolls uh, that are made now that have uh, removable uh, hair pieces. And uh, she's got a little bit of glitter on her, and I'm not too sure. <laughs> she doesn't have any glitter anywhere. But um, she is uh, very, very unusual. And I do know that she's she's not a doll that it was a, uh, she's like a dime store doll. So she's very lightweight plastic and uh, a knockoff Barbie from what I can tell. Her markings on the back, it does say made in uh, China. Um, but she's like that really light, cheap plastic. And uh, I do know that she's wearing uh, what she would have been sold in originally in her little box. But um, she came with some accessories that are also pretty, uh, pretty cool. So the wig that she had on was this little pink wig. And I think that it's really, uh, it's a neat thing because uh, you can't really tell that it's a wig that she's wearing necessarily uh, until you... Um, you would uh, actually pick her up and, and see that this is a, a, a piece that you could pull off and pull on. And the, um, the attachment, it fits on her head just perfectly. Uh, there's no Velcro in there or anything. Like the dolls that, uh, that I have uh, now, um, like my Evangeline Gasly and uh, some of the newer dolls, um, uh, the live dolls and uh, the wigged dolls. They have something inside of the wig that helps it hold on, but these these particular wigs actually stay on her very, very well. And so the idea behind this uh, doll is, is really, uh, the concept of the doll is really neat. Um, anytime that you can change the color of the hair just by removing um, the headpiece. So this is the wig that she would have had on. And there was another one um, that I did have, but uh, it's in an accessory box somewhere uh, with my other doll stuff. Um, but it would have been an orange wig. And it was uh, a little bit uh, mid-length uh, wig. So there was that orange one, and then there's this pink one. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find that wig because I'm not too sure how it got separated from her. And then there's this longer wig and like I said, that these you can't, this one's a little bit looser, but you can't really tell that there's a wig on there. Um, these, it's definitely dime store because there's not a lot of uh, hair on this, but it's enough to, to cover it and put it into a ponytail. So the idea behind it is really, really uh, a neat idea. Uh, the other thing that's really kind of cute with this um, there's these little hair pieces, and this reminds me of the little hair pieces that you get on the mod dolls uh, for Barbie. Um, the little hair pieces that you can do an attachment with. These are like little ringlets on a uh, butterfly clip, and you can clip them into her hair. Now, I'm not going to mess with the clip a whole lot. I do not know the age of this doll. If I was to guess, it would probably be um, it would probably be 80s, maybe. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure because this concept of the wig has become very, very uh, big lately. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, she could be, she could be newer or she could be um, from, this, from the 80s, from the 70s. Uh, it's really hard to tell. So if anybody out there, this all looks familiar to you, um, please leave that in the comments for me. So she would have come with, um, like I said, the, the little wigs and then these little hair pieces. These little hair pieces are very, very cute. The idea behind them is very, very cute, but you can tell um, not really good quality made. They're not very good quality made, but the, you know, I'm not gonna be playing with her, so 
um, you know, th these will all stay in very good condition, but um, really, really cute idea and follows a lot of the, it follows a lot of the mod Barbie doll stuff for uh, Francie and, uh, you know, the uh, growing hair Francie doll um, and any of those uh, hair fair Barbie. They came with like little hair pieces. So this is the same kind of an idea as that. And so it makes me think that maybe this, um, this could be, have, could have been made around that time. Um, she also had come with um, these little, these little shoes. And uh, they kind of resemble the little pilgrim shoes from um, Barbie. They're very cute. Um, I haven't put them on her feet. I could probably try to put them on her feet. I don't expect them to stay on very well or fit really well because uh, dime store dolls aren't really made very, very well. So, uh, like I said, it's not going to stay on her, but it is the shoe for her. And then, um, also, she had this little stand in here. And this little stand is, it just doesn't make any sense. It's got the little pegs, and this is another thing that makes me think that this doll might be a little bit older because they haven't relied on pegs like this in a stand for quite some time, and usually that means that uh, there's holes in the feet to support the doll. But on this doll here, let me take off her wig. On this doll here, she doesn't have any holes in her feet, so I'm kind of wondering does this stand work with this doll or did they just not put the holes in it <laughs> do you is it uh you make the holes yourself <laughs> and you try to stand the doll up so um i do have another stand that's very similar to this kind of a stand but it was sold with my um my uh clone build lily doll and um there were holes um that you could uh you know stand the doll in and also uh, the first Barbie would have had pegs as well. I don't know if the pegs would have been in the stand, but um, uh, so I don't know if that stand necessarily belongs to her or not. And then the last thing that came in that bag was the brush and comb for the little wigs. And these are very, very, they look very, very familiar. Um, I would say that they were even Barbie except for the fact that they're not um, they are very very lightweight um, this this comb here for a Barbie uh, would be pretty it'd be pretty um, it wouldn't be flexible like this it would be pretty solid piece of plastic and this is just not really so I can tell that those do do uh, go with her um, for the quality of the actual doll uh, that she is so if anybody out there recognizes this doll um, and can give me some information about her, I, I don't expect her to be, uh, you know, um, highly collectible or anything, but the idea behind her is very, uh, it's a very cute idea. And she does have a twist waist as well. So as a lot of these, um, what I would consider a knockoff or a clone Barbie, they're all one one piece and uh they don't have any joints a whole lot of joints in them but she doesn't have any bends in her knees no joints in her knees and none in her elbows just back and forth everything is back and forth it's not even a ball joint in her neck so definitely definitely dime store definitely definitely a uh, clone doll of some kind but if anybody has any additional information for me please leave that in the comments for me so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.